Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do these dancing letters effect in HitFilm Express. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new composite shot, clicking OK, and then I'm going to add a new text layer and type in my letters. And you can see that the uh you know the size of those letters is there uh the, the the font is correct it's centered i've made them all capitalized the big thing that i want to do here is i want to change the anchor point so that the anchor point is basically in the middle of the letters okay that will be very important so you can use any font any um type set whatever you want okay now, if I go to effects, what I have done is I have taken the effects that I used to make this dancing letters thing, and I have put them in my favorites temporarily here so that I can just reference them quickly for you. I'm going to use the controls, and we're going to start uh, by using the light sword glow only effect. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a vibration when that happens, right? So if I open this up, and the first thing I do is I take the inner glow and I make it white. Okay. And then if I take the stability down and the flicker down, you will see that now I have a big glow happening. I'm going to knock down the width of that, which will knock down how much that is going to about that much. Okay, so that's all I need to do there. Now if I use a neon glow effect and I drop that on there, opening this up, I'm going to crank that up to the max. You can see that that amplifies it. And if I take the expansion and the radius down, then I have a pretty nice edge to it. However, if I were to put the find edges on it right now, it's good, but it's a little bit thin. Now, the neon glow makes it visible at all, so it absolutely has to be there. So I'm also going to add a crush blacks and whites alpha effect, and I am going to take the opa opaque value down to 0.1. This will just thicken it up a little bit. It can be added either before or after the find edges effect, doesn't matter. And now I have this pretty nice little dancing letters effect, right? The last thing I'm going to add to it is a shake effect, okay? And now you can see the whole word is dancing around like this, okay? So if I open this up, I can adjust the individual controls. I'm going to take the shake and X shake and Y shake down, but I'm going to up the tilt shake and I'm going to up... Uh, you know, the uh, amount so that the whole thing is dancing. Now, if you want the whole word to dance like that, great. It can dance all at once. It looks good, right? But what if you want the individual letters to be dancing instead? Well, what you would do then is I would go ahead and now just back this down to a D. Okay. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that, and we'll make that an A. Control D to duplicate it again, and we'll make it an N. Control D and we'll make that a C. Control D and we'll make that an E. Now, if I just grab these, I can just sort of slide them over and position them. I might want to move that one a little bit more. And we'll bring this one over here. And then we'll bring this one over here. Now, the thing is that they still look all the same. They still look like they belong together. So you say, oh, well, I'll just change the seed, right? I'll just search for seed. Well, the only thing that has a seed is the shake effect, so that's not going to work. So what we'll do is we're just going to grab each one of these and drag them to a different place on the timeline, and this will make them sort of appear to be random. Now that I've done that, I'll just extend them all like this so that they're everywhere. And now uh, they're all dancing and shaking all over the place like this, okay? Now there is one more little tiny thing that I want to add, and that is uh, if you look at the uh, checkerboard background, you'll see, oh, they're actually all, um, you know, still black. Uh, so if you want them to be transparent, only the, uh, you know, the outline visible, then you just drop a demult key on it, okay? And that will make it that way. You can drop a demult key on one, or you could drop a demult key on all of them by adding a grade layer and then just putting it on the grade layer. Or I could have added it before I split them all up, and then it'd be in all of them anyway, right? 
Okay. Uh, last thing I want to say though is that if you'll notice, I'm just going to turn off all of them but the D, and under the D, I'm going to go to the shake effect and crank that up to the max. Anytime you add a shake effect to something, it actually doesn't shake around it, of course. It shakes around the center of your screen, okay? So that might look a little bit funny, you know, if you were... And maybe that's what you're looking for. But if you wanted to sort of dance around itself, what you would have to do is you would have to make it into its own composite shot. Right click, make it into a composite shot, bring it on over. Okay, then what you would want to do is just center it into its own composite shot. So now it's just dancing around itself. When I go back to the main composite shot, I would then drag this back over but now it's sort of dancing around itself over there instead of around the center of the composite shot so that's basically it in a nutshell listen if you like this kind of content do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel click the little bell icon for notifications if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching